A plant so high on the most unwanted list, there's an all-out war to keep it under control. This tall drink of water produces gorgeous pinkish-purple flowers perfumed with a sweet scent. But this alluring beauty brings some serious firepower to the battlefield, with seed pods that explode at the slightest touch. This is the Himalayan balsam. Hi, I'm Tasha the Amazon, and you're watching Floralogic. Today we're talking about a pretty and pink beauty that's bent on world domination. Policeman's helmet, bobby tops, gnome's hat stand. Depending on where you are, you might know it by any of these adorable nicknames. But don't be fooled by its cutesy, headwear-inspired aliases. This ruthless invader is here to take over. Impatience glandulifera belongs to the Balsaminaceae family and the genus Impatience, also known as touch me not. These plants get their name from the Latin word for impatient, thanks to their aggressive seed dispersal. And impatient, they are. One slight touch and the ripe Himalayan balsam pod explodes, firing seeds up to seven meters away. That would be like if a palm tree could shoot its coconuts across a football field. Himalayan balsam gets its name from its region of origin, the foothills of the Himalayas from northwest Pakistan to northern India. But this plant is hell-bent on world domination and has since invasively spread all across the northern hemisphere. Once famed for its stunning ornamental beauty, the Himalayan balsam is now infamous for hijacking space, light, and nutrients from native plants. Basically, the worst house guest ever. And Himalayan balsam doesn't mess around when it comes to moving in on native species turf. Each individual, which can grow to around three meters tall, can produce up to 800 seeds in its short life. When mature, the seed capsules of these space invaders explosively roll up at the slightest touch. This dramatic display fires their seeds far and wide, ensuring their survival and choking out their native neighbors in the process. Now let's see those seed grenades again in super slow-mo. In areas with established Himalayan balsam populations, and with all those projectiles flying through the air, up to 30,000 seeds can collect in a single square meter. Native species don't stand much of a chance against that onslaught. The seeds of the Himalayan balsam can also survive up to two years after it's been ejected, so you know it's ready to play the long game. One of the main ways that Himalayan balsam spreads far and wide is through anthropochery, which is just a fancy way of saying good old-fashioned human beings. And this is why we can't have nice things. Thanks to their good looks and pleasant perfume, people just can't seem to resist adding these trespassers to their gardens. And they're not just attractive to humans, Himalayan balsam produces large amounts of sweet, sweet nectar and becomes a regular watering hole for bees. Drawing pollinators away from native plants is just another one-two punch these invaders pull to ensure their success. But this plant isn't just a danger to native species. It may even be responsible for accelerated riverbank erosion. After pushing out native perennials, the annual Himalayan balsam dies off in winter, leaving the riverbanks it loves so much, exposed to the elements, and primed for erosion. These meddlesome beauties are the definition of hit it and quit it. Efforts are being made in particularly hard-hit areas to combat unwanted Himalayan balsam. In the UK, where the plant has been a pest for 150 years, self-proclaimed balsam bashers organized bashing parties to wipe out invasive populations. Groups of volunteers get together to yank these out by the roots. Destroying invaders in hand-to-root combat? It sounds like my kind of fun. A project headed by the Center for Agricultural Bioscience International in the UK has also leveled up the battle against Himalayan balsam. After eight years of research, a rust fungus that infects the stems and leaves was chosen as the best biological weapon against this invasive species. The fungus doesn't impact native species and has already started the slow process of eradicating this beautiful killer. If you live anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere, you're likely to encounter the Himalayan balsam, either out in the wild or in your neighbor's front garden. 
Though making pods explode might sound like a great way to startle your friends, to stop the spread, it's recommended not to let these go to seed. And definitely, don't trade them at your next seed exchange. So what should we talk about next? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. See you later. is just another one-two punch these invaders pull to enjoy their success. Enjoy. <laughs> they enjoy it, ah oh, yeah. So, what should we talk about next? Okay, dumb. Once famed for its stunning ornamental beauty, Himalayan balsam is now infamous. Burr. And this is why we can't have nice things.